بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وعز المرسلين أبي القاسم محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المنتجبين وعلى جميع أنبياء الله والمرسلين We were talking in the previous session about Surat Al-Asr chapter we call it Al-Asr and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرٍ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ And we said, as a human being, as a human beings, we always lose. Time is a very critical factor. No matter how good you are, no matter how brilliant you are, no matter how strong you are, no matter how rich you are, just name it. By time, there is a chance you are going to lose something till you reach a certainty. You lose everything when it comes to materialistic things, unless when there is something is associated for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are rich, you have the most beautiful house in the area. There is a time you're gonna leave the house. You are healthy today, tomorrow you may not. And just name it. But when your youth when your efforts, when your work is for the sake of Allah, that means to help yourself, to improve yourself, to improve your life, to improve the community, to improve you know, the lifestyle of humanity overall through your support, through your knowledge, through your contribution, through your invention, then you're not going to be like those who are losing. Because, it's not, you know, the hadith narration from the Prophet wasallam among Muslims says that if a person passes away, no more deeds. That's it. Done. So the solution, we have something we call it continued hasanat, continued good deeds. Even though you are not doing it, but you are getting the rewards. It's like, you know, you plant a tree and you eat from it, your kids eat from it, birds eat from it. Maybe it might survive so many years. And it's a free reward. So when someone passes away, he has to, you know, to be worried about that. But the Prophet said, well, you're going to be without any more chance to do any work. But guess what? Unless you have a charity. You have a charity to help someone get educated. You had a charity by spending so much time in finding a cure for a disease. Your charity was about getting people out of bad addictions, intoxications, your charity was to teach someone how to read, how to read Quran, for instance. And just name it. Anything that's going to improve someone's life, that's a charity. Does not have to be money sometimes. And if you have money, also this is also a plus. 
صدقة جارية we say people are benefiting from why you help someone that someone he used to be a kid you taught him how let's say to read Quran that person he grew up and had a family and he taught his kids then the charity start now getting what multiplied you get hasanat then every time you know that hasana is making another reward you will get that it's a continuous thing so do not give up and do not say you know what i'm good no seek continuous good deeds one of them is sadaqah you let's say you help in supporting a mosque every time someone is using that mask and benefiting from it you will get hasanat it's not just a hasana you keep it isolated in a banking account no so sadaqah jari second one is what we have Waladun Salihun, for instance, Yad'ulahu. You have a kid. That kid is a good person. Every time that person is doing something good, he will get hasanat. So these are some examples. The Prophet is not saying those are the only example. Illa, Filugh al Arabiya, except the translation of Illa, except. Is not always excluding others. No, sometimes it talks about major points. Ella, those are the major points, but we have other stuff. Those are examples. But that's why we say in Arabic we have Hasar Haqiqi and Hasar Idafi. It's not our subject now. So you have Sadaqa Jariya, you have Amalun Saleh, Waladun Saleh, Yadulak. Imagine, you know, in the middle of the night where no one ever mentioned your name again because you passed away, you have a son or a daughter wakes up in the middle of the night and say, God, please forgive my dad, help him out. This is Hassan. In other way, in other, you know, words, your Xbox, your PlayStation, your fun, your games, your social media is not gonna wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh God, help this person because he was used to spend 20 hours, you know, utilizing my tools. And Yes, you can make an app that can help others. You will get hasana. So rather than being a spectator and consume things, why don't you have an initiative and to produce things? That's the idea. Do not be lazy and just a number in the society. You have to be proactive, not just active. Proactive. Think ahead of time. So when we remember death, okay, Death does not mean the end of everything, the absolute nothing. No. When we remember death, we do not remember it because we are desperate or because we are hopeless or because we want to get away from our responsibilities and we don't want to enjoy life. No. We remember death so we can be more responsible. See now, if you have a project, the project has no, no due date. You think you will finish it? You keep on postponing tomorrow, 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 and tomorrow is busier than today. So humanity nowadays invented something. We say, hey, let's have a due date. Whenever you are working on any task, you have what? A due date? And we have penalties. Because without due dates, we'll be careless. We'll not have an organized society. We'll be lazy. 
Same concept here applies. Islam is telling you, it's a fact, Jack, your life is short. No matter how smart or good you are, your life is short. And every one of us, whether we believe in God or we do not believe in God, we believe in a certainty that death is a fact that we cannot escape other than taxes. Okay? Death, we cannot escape. So what's the solution? To keep hiding from death? Eventually, it's going to reach us. The other solution is what? To confront that and start preparing. How? By living a balanced life. You are good in this life. You are enjoying your life in halal way. You are living it in a balanced way. And then at the same token, you do what? You do work for the hereafter. In Qatar, Amaluhu said, for instance, Illa min thalath. One of them, Sadaqa Jariya. One of them, Abad Walladun Salihun Yad'ula. And the third one, which here I emphasize on, I don't, I don't know if we'll have a chance to talk about it in details. Ilmun yuntafa bihi. Ilmun yuntafa bihi. Yani if you think you want to be closer to Allah by just building mosques or give us or give a charity for uh, poor people, dates or some food, this is not good enough. You as a mu'min, you have to be elite. You have to excel. Al-mu'min al-qawai khayrun wa ahabbu ila Allah. من المؤمن الضعيف. A strong mu'min is better than a weak mu'min. You do not, you cannot compare. A person, <coughs> excuse me, it's not COVID yet. Okay, a person who is struggling the whole night to be educated, to solve a homework without cheating, to Earn knowledge. Sometimes we do not earn it. Sometimes it's copy paste nowadays. Huh? Go Google it. This is the answer. You earn it. You earn your degree. Because you feel that when I am in a better position as education, I can get better career so I can help my community more. I can help myself more. I can help my relatives more. I want to invent something so, so I can ease some problems in the society. This is ilm yuntafa bi. That means it's science or a field of education that might help humanity. Allah will reward you. Nothing for free. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to make you and who are you or me Sometimes we are a little bit, some of us a little bit lazy, and then they want to go to heaven like others. I want to be with Ali alayhi salam. I want to be with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. I want to be with Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein. This is good thought, good intention. Definitely it's good intention. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. But guess what? You need to work. You cannot just wish you want to be one of them or among them you have to work it's not fair that you or me okay working hard and yet in jannah a person who used to be a very lazy careless person in the same level that we are in it's not right now some people they might say you know what as long as we are not in hellfire who cares you know just we are safe it's good enough that's a different story now. But sometimes if our uh, you know, ambition is just to be away from hellfire, that means you, our work might not even reach us to that level yet. So maybe you have to work extra. You know, you target for better. Maybe you can get less, isn't it? But Allah is generous. You know, no question about it. So the ayah <coughs> is saying... Human being is in loss, 
except those who are what believers and they do good good work you know in quran maybe there are about 50 times 50 okay places in the quran believing plus good work believing plus good work and this is very important that means you cannot just believe in God and be what? Careless. You have to be active. You are energy. You have to help others through your, you know, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you. What are you good in? Maybe, especially, mashallah, young people, they might help us a lot. Maybe an idea you consider it very silly and easy to understand. Maybe if you put it on YouTube or social media, maybe it's going to guide thousands of people. Do not underestimate yourself. Do not underestimate your knowledge. Be careful. Make sure it is the right knowledge and spread it. Don't just keep it inside. Don't be stingy. Sometimes you think the stingy person is the one who is not giving money or charity. Sometimes, no, you have knowledge and you don't want to share it. That's not right. You have, we post so many things on social media. Let's post something worth it. A wisdom, you feel it is good, spread it out. Nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'm not telling you overload my phone, you know, with like hundreds of good proverbs, you know, a day. We have this in the groups, isn't it? I'm not saying this. Once a, once a day, you know. Just, you never know who's going to read it. And he is going to be a good help for him or her. You agree with me? So, Iman is like, brothers and sisters, if I want to make a close analogy for it, it's like the sun. When the sun rises, does not start saying, you know what, this house is good, this house is not good, so based on good and bad, I want to, you know, shine their places. No. You have to be always giving. Always willing to give without any rewards. Because it's for the sake of Allah. I'm not saying open a business and give a product for people for free. I'm not saying this. I'm saying there are certain occasions you have to dedicate something of your life, of your materialistic belongings to help other needy people. And remember the surah is a first small short surah. And that's why I picked it. So you can always remember my words through the ayah. Wal asr inna al insan lafi khusr. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ يعني believing but I don't pray believing but I do not fast believing but I don't care about my parents believing and I do not care about my health believing I am I am I do not care about الأحكام I you know get intoxicated I go you know I will be high because it's the trend I am weak under peer pressure. I lose my temper when, you know, something happens and I do not like. This is not belief. You did not even scratch the surface. You are still in the first step. In order, see what ulama al-akhlaq they say, Iman is the tree. It's like a tree. We call it faith. Believing in God, believing in Quran, believing in the Prophet, believing in Ahlul Bayt, believing in Quran, belief, believing in the Prophets from Adam through Abraham, Jesus, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. We believe in them. But this is the tree, and the tree needs what? Needs water, needs sun. Needs certain atmosphere. That atmosphere, we call it. We call it al amal al salih. Alladina amanu, illa alladina amanu wa amilu 
salihat. To make that belief flourish, you have to water that belief with what? With your good deeds. Otherwise, little by little, it's going to decay and die. Why? Because brothers and sisters, one, one of the advantages of ibadah, certain way of wudu, certain way of salah, certain way of hajj, why? To tell you, you are not the master. Allah is the master. You listen to the orders. Do not be arrogant. Do not be arrogant. Because no matter, how ed no matter how much educated you are, there is a chance, there is a chance, there is something you do not know or you misunderstood. And that's what we're going to be talking, inshallah, about later on when we talk about those atheists that rejected the idea of God, if we get the chance to. So the ayah is saying, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ The big question is, what's amalu salihat? Why Islam did not say amalu al-salihat, something? What, what is the definition of salihat? Is it something good? And good like what? Good for hereafter? Or good for me? Or good for humanity? What's al-amal al-salih? So if I invite a poor person to my house, homeless, and I, I start feeding him, yet at the same time I'm mocking him. This is my food. This is my house. Because of me, you are, you know, enjoying food. Is this Amal Salih? Or no, it's not Amal Salih. So what's Al Amal Al Salih? That's what we are going to, inshallah, be discussing next meeting. Asallallah subhanahu wa ta'ala ayyataqabbala minna wa minkum wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. The rest of the time, um, feel free to ask me any questions if you have. Questions? are for free, you know, no extra charge. <laughs> we do not accept credit cards and so. <laughs> Questions? Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad.